In this video, I'm going to show you how to load a sample database so you can practice your SQL on. Okay, with the database we're going to upload is called the world database It's a very common database created specifically for this reason. It has several tables. Uh, this is the this is the database. I already have it. So I'm going to, you know, drop it and we're going to install it. Uh, it's called world and it has information about the world about there's a table called city there's a table ca called country and there's a table called country language okay so i'm going to show you how to set this up locally the prerequisite for this is you have to have a database a mysql database running locally it can be mysql 5 or 8 whichever one you have and my recommendation if you don't already have it is to use map map is the easiest one i have a video on how to set that up how to basically run a mysql database on your local machine i'll link it in the description so that is my recommendation there's a lot of options on how you can run mysql locally for free but um i think map is the easiest one that's what i recommend but i'm going to have a bunch i have a bunch of other options they all covered in my course and my my sql full course but i'll also as i create the videos for the, for youtube i'll add them here but right now map i already have the link so i'm going to add it there okay so um uh, just to look at the browser go look look at map okay the first thing that shows up and then the second tool you need is my sql workbench that's also the first thing that shows up so you install those two things map is the actual server and my sql workbench is the client we use to connect what you see here is my sql server okay so for the database for and the same thing on windows okay on windows download map download workbench and once you download map you have um it looks like this and on on a mac once you have ma uh, map it looks like this and create a connection in fact let me create a new connection once you have it open, if you go to web start, this will actually show you information about your MySQL. Click on MySQL and you see the port, then the username and password. Same thing here. If you click on this web start page, it will take you here. And if you scroll down uh, in the MySQL section, you have the credentials. Okay, so I'm going to do this on a Mac, but it's the exact same process on Windows. So first connect to the database. So we go to home. Click on this plus icon. If you just download MySQL Workbench, you're not going to have any of those. This this window here is going to be blank. I have too many connections. That's why there is so many connections here. Yours is going to be empty, but you're going to have one once you create a connection. So create a connection. Uh, give it a name. I'm going to solve it. I'm going to say local map. That's just any name. The host name you can leave it as is 127.001, or you can change it to local host. Type it out local host. The port, depending on uh, how you installed it, just go to preferences and map, right? Actually, you don't even have to do that. You you can figure that out. You can go to preferences, go to ports, and you can change it here. But the web page, what I just I just told you about, shows you what the port is: eight 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 nine. Okay, so back to workbench. I'm going to use eight 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 nine to make the connection. The username is root. The password is root. So just click on test connection. I already have a connection so just just let me in before you will ask for your password if it's your first time put in the password which again is root the username is root password is root both on windows and on mac click ok click ok now you have a new connection with the name you just gave it for you that might be the only connection click that now you connect it to the server and also this is going to be empty I have a lot of different databases yours is going to be empty if it's your first time you're only only going to have sys whatever it says sys that's just like a built-in database that is available so we're going to install a uh, world database okay so i'm going to open a new a new file i'm going to drop this one i can do right click and drop schema or i can type in drop schema or i can do drop database database world okay and execute that bam it's gone deleted okay so now i'm going to show you how to load a new one so you got to start by searching world sample database, right? I'm just showing you the whole process, but I'm going to give you a direct link in the video. In the description, I'll show you, a, I'll put a direct link on how you can download it. But just in case that changes, I want to show you how to do it. So search for it. Usually it's from MySQL, so it comes from this site, dev.mysql.com. Click on that. And there is like the first page. Then you go to the next page, installation page. And on the installation page, it shows you how to install it. So they're going to do it in the command line and I'm going to do it in workbench, but I'm also going to show you, I'm going to show you on workbench first and I'm going to show you how to do it in the command line, literally the way they did it here. But the example here assumes you know how to use the command line 
and it, it assumes you're using the default everything right right now for us we're not using the default port default port for my sql is 3306 but if you just saw as you just saw where is that page the default the port we're using is 8889 so this command here is not just going to work out of the box you have to specify what port you want to use because we're not using the default one but we'll get to that that's that's why workbench is so much easier uh, to work with so here uh, it shows you where the how to install it but it doesn't show you exactly where to download the files from so you got to go to this link you see this link here click on this link this is the link i'm going to put in the description i'm going to put a direct link to 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 the video uh, to here so here there are sample databases i'm also making videos for the other ones for the sakila that's another database you can pra practice with employees another database you can practice with i'm going to have videos for that and i'm going to link all of those in the description the one we're interested in is world database w o r l d the world database so i'm going to download the zip so i'm going to click on that that's going to download it i'm going to go to my finders and there's a world that zip here i'm going to double click it to unzip it and in there there's only one one database file here that sql file that is the file we need to execute and if you look at the instructions that is the file they are executing they're going to create a connection they're going to run the source into that file into that uh, file we just downloaded okay but we're just going to do it in, in workbench so it's downloaded it is available in the downloads folder for me world it's world db then world.sql so i'm going to go to workbench I'm going to open a new file just click i can click on here for new file and i can just say open there is a there is a button for opening right here right click on that and i'm going to go to downloads i'm going to go to world db and i'm going to i'm going to open the file we just downloaded this entire file once it's downloaded you don't have to do anything but hit this thunder icon which is a run icon click on that and it is going to execute at the bottom you will see things being run i thought it would yeah it did so now you don't see it here you don't see the word database here so you have to click on refresh this little icon here for refresh click on that and scroll down now you have the world database installed okay loaded all the data so you can you can try it out click on right click on city click on select roles and this will return all the roles for that database look at country this will return all the roles for the for the country table and country language right click select and you get the result set okay so it's pretty much like this it's very very simple now you have a sample database running on your database locally using map whatever database you do, you you run right whatever tool you use to run you can use map like i just showed you you can use xamp which is very similar to map you can use docker uh, you can use a direct install of mysql onto your machine as long as you have mysql running you should follow exact same steps to load the sample data okay so we use the workbench to, to load the sample data because that's the easiest because we always use workbench to connect anyways might as well do it there so one of the examples for example uh, one of the sample databases like the employee signups database you can't use mysql you could but it's, it gets really complicated so in that case the command line is easier so for this one let's actually use the command line and let me show you how to use this so if i try to run this command as is so let me open a terminal okay i'm going to do a new terminal bring it over here make it bigger clear the screen so if i type the the just the command they have to connect to my sql server um well i have another server running so it's going to ask to connect so if i put root it's not going to allow me because that's not the database i'm trying to connect to so i want to connect to the right database so i'm going to do my sql the host is local host which is default i can leave that out what's important is the port because i'm not using a specific uh, the default port i'm going to use uppercase p for port 8889 is the user uh, the port the user is going to be root and the password is going to be root so you can do this like without i can not specify the password and when you hit enter it would ask you for a password or you can just do it in one line like this i'm going to create a video on how to use the cli uh, access denied for root uh, local host password loop uh, that is interesting i don't know local host let's see sometimes it wants you to use the ip address of the local host i've seen that issue before okay there you go see when i did local host from the command line it didn't work when i used the ip address it worked but in workbench you remember we used localhost and it worked so once you're here all you got to do is run this command 
okay so i have to delete the database first so the world database let me delete it first because i already i, I cannot create it if it already exists so i'm going to do drop schema drop now it's deleted it's gone okay now if i run this query it's going to say i can't find it there's an error of course now let me get when you look at the instructions it's saying source that file so let me get the path of that file i'm going to right click hold option to get the path so i'm going to come to my connection i'm going to do source just like they did i'm going to uppercase and the filing this is the path to my file hit enter it executed a bunch of things no errors go back to my database and refresh and now the database is created again if i run the same query the database is there with the data okay so i just showed you how to use workbench and also how to use the cli to load this data let me know if you have any questions if you run into any issues please you know post post the issue in the comment section and let me know if you like this video like this video subscribe i'm going to make a bunch of videos like this literally my goal for this year is to create a lot of beginner friendly videos so um you know follow me subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any questions and check out the full course if you're interested in learning um sql okay